Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McAdies Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahey. Got another quick gory story for you beautiful people today from the pages of the iconic Marvel Zombies. In our last video, we covered the legend of the liver slurping lizard himself, Zombie Kurt Connors. I will have that video linked in the title card and the description below. In today's video, we'll be going over the quick carnivorous tale of the ventricle-eating Spider-Man villain, Zombie Vulture. No, not even our homie Adrian Toomes was quick enough to outfly the deadly virus that turned him and just about everyone else from his dimension into crazed undead monsters. His story is a gruesome good time while it lasts, so without further ado, grab a handful of those tasty strawberry candies from Grandma's house, sit back, relax, and enjoy the full gory story of Zombie Vulture. Who is he? Zombie Vulture, like nearly every powered being of this world, was infected with a mysterious disease that turned them into ravenous, flesh-eating monsters. He made his first appearance in the pages of Marvel Zombies issue number 2 back in 2006. He comes from Earth 2149, but his origins pre-outbreak were very similar to that of his main universe counterpart from Earth 616. Things quickly took a trip to hell though one fateful day when a zombie version of the hero known as the Sentry came to Earth and immediately began infecting the Avengers with the deadly disease. The once noble lads and lasses immediately turned upon infection, snacking on every citizen in sight and infecting any hero who tried to stop them. Like his fellow Sinister Six members, our poor boy Vulture was one of the first to sadly be infected during the initial days of the outbreak. He then joined his workmates in the streets below as they battled the non-infected heroes who tried to put an end to things. Tombs and the boys though would prove victorious as the plague's power was too great and they overran the remaining supers, either killing or infecting them with their unholy curse. The zombie plague would then spread throughout the earth resulting in a global pandemic that left the world almost nearly devoid of all human life. As Vulture and the boys kicked back wondering where their next meal would come from, their prayers would soon be answered in the form of the Silver Surfer who arrived to the planet to announce the impending arrival of his master Galactus. Hyped that Space DoorDash finally arrived, Vulture and the other flying zombie supers jumped into action and attacked the Surfer. The Surfer proved though to be more than a shiny pretty face as he brutally attacked the hordes with waves of his cosmic energy. Bet you feel pretty silly now, don't you Vulture? Just what is an old man with robot wings going to do against a guy from space with legit laser powers? And like me man, I wanna know. Toom's tenacity though would have no limits as he managed to jump on the Surfer and tried to wrestle him down only for him to get flicked off and get a hole blasted right through him. As he fell injured to the ground, Vulture would be out of commission for a bit, but he would have his revenge after his pals got the drop on the surfer where they managed to consume him. Those who got a taste of the dude's space meat realized they got his powers, which they then used to cook and eat all the remaining zombies in the surrounding vicinity. They also managed to use these abilities to defeat and eat Galactus himself, where they got his powers as well and left the planet in search of other worlds to consume. This would actually not be the end of Zombie Vulture though, as it is revealed he actually survived this ordeal along with several other villains and came to work under the leadership of Zombie Kingpin who had organized his own undead empire. Oh, love the suit man, really brings out those beautiful undead eyes of yours. Kingpin and his men, with the help of Zombie Doctor Strange, discovered a portal in the swamps of Florida that allowed them to access a nearby dimension which was actually the main Marvel Universe of Earth 616. They then sent Zombie Deadpool in as a guinea pig who was eventually captured by armor which was basically the cool edgy version of S.H.I.E.L.D. that protected other worlds from each other. Knowing that they had a potential zombie invasion on their hands, armor scientists sent the robot heroes Machine Man and Jocasta to the Zombieverse so they could get a blood sample from a human of that Earth so they could create a vaccine for the people of Earth 616. Immediately upon arrival, Jocasta is attacked by Vulture 
and a band of fellow flying zombies. Ripping off her leg and disappointed that she was just a robot, Jocasta attacked Vulture and the rest with her laser vision. Freed of their grasp, Jocasta proceeded to fall out of the sky and grabbed Vulture for leverage. However, her hand went right through his wound that he got from the surfer, which then caused it to sink right into his entrails, where she mistakenly pulled it out and plummeted it to the ground below. Man, this panel is disgusting. Although that oddly looks kind of fun to swing around on that. The weight causes Vulture's organ to rip, where Jocasta is eventually saved by Machine Man. Worried that Tombs would go and warn the surrounding horde, Machine Man then locks onto the dude with a heat-seeking missile and blows him to bits. While the Vulture of Earth-2149 would be toast, his story does live on in another world. So restock on those strawberry candies, cause here we go. We then cut back to our cosmic zombie heroes who had spent the next 40 years throughout space eating every planet and living thing they could find. They would eventually be cured of their hunger and mistakenly found their way to an alternate dimension called Earth-Z, which was a world quite similar to theirs before the plague broke out. Zombie Spider-Man would try to be a good boy and be a hero again, only for his hunger to return when he tried to stop this world's Sinister Six from robbing a museum. The hungry wall crawler would then proceed to rip out Kraven's throat, munch down on Mysterio's brains, fry Electro and Doc Ock, where he proceeded to snack on the good doctor's guts. A shocked vulture would try to avenge his friends, only for Spider-Man to leap into the air, rip off his arms, and use his wings to slice off Electro's head. Hey, uh, Mr. Uh, Michael Keaton, movie vulture? Uh, I think it's best if you kind of leave Spider-Man alone, man. I know you're trying to start this whole Sinister Six thing with Morbius and all, but uh, I think it's safe if you just stay home. Upon coming in contact with the zombie Spidey, Vulture and the rest too would transform into undead, where they would kill and eat all of Peter's closest friends. Filled with rage from witnessing this, zombie Spider-Man snapped out of his hunger and ripped poor Vulture and the six apart, where he then stood upon their horribly mangled bodies in the city streets. And that is the full gory story of Zombie Vulture. This certainly was a nasty one, and I had a blast making it. Only had to puke twice this time. With Michael Keaton's return as Vulture in the post credit scenes of Morbius, I wonder just what the future has in store for his character. Perhaps he would make some sort of appearance in an upcoming season of the Marvel Zombies TV show. Although I gotta admit, it would be very sad to see Michael Keaton get eaten by Spider-Man. Like I said, man, just stay home and be a cool dad and everything will be fine. More than anything, though, I want to hear what you think. Did you know this about Zombie Vulture? Was there something I missed? What other stories or characters would you like to see us cover? Sound off in the comments. Also, be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed today's content, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the music in this video, it was all made by my boy Agnes. You can check out his Spotify in the link below. You can also check out our Patreon also in the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you are awesome and loved. God bless and I will see you in the next one.